Hey everyone, today we're going to use Anima's new auto animate feature to create a prototype like this without leaving Sketch. That's right, so let's go. And here we are in Sketch where I've got a couple of examples set up. One where I'm going to take you through the basic idea, and another one where we take a fleshed out design and animate between these three screens. And I'm going to put a link to this file in the description of this video so you can play along if you want, and also the links to the latest Anima plugin, which you'll have to install to make this work, of course, and then a link to the Anima site where you have to sign up, or else you can't preview the files that you're actually putting together. And with that said, let's take a look at example one, where we've got a layer that's called card on the first screen, and it's also called card on the second screen. Now this is the same element, I've just resized it and changed its color and moved it up to the top in the second artboard. This is a separate element, so the first screen has a heading that's only on screen one, and this is a heading that's only on screen two, and the buttons at the bottom are the same thing, so they won't move anywhere. We're gonna grab the first CTA, and then over to the right, if we go to the bottom to the Anima panel, you can see flow. I'm gonna drop this down and then I'm gonna add a link. So I'm just gonna click this. And you'll see the toolbar at the top asking you whether you wanna do an external link, a backlink, or just cancel. I'm gonna create a link from artboard one to two. I'm gonna go back to the right hand side and then change link to auto animate. Now it's gonna give me ease in and out, ease in, ease out, linear snap, wind up and bounce. But I'm just gonna use ease in and out for now and I'm gonna change the duration to 0.5 of a second. Then I'm gonna go over to this button and do the same thing. Add a link, go back, change it to auto animate, change it to 0.5. And that's all you have to do. So let's preview it and see what happens. I'm gonna select the first artboard and go right to the bottom and select preview and browser. I'm gonna click the first link and it animates up to the top. I'm gonna to click it again and it animates to the bottom. But you can see the text doing something funny, right? It's trying to move between the two, but it's a different element. So if I was to delete this one and copy and paste this one over to this artboard and move it down, let's move it right down to the bottom to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do and then go to the bottom right and select preview and browser again. This time, it'll animate to the bottom nice and smoothly. And with that, we have the basic concept in mind, where if you want something to animate from one artboard to another, it has to be on both artboards. So you can imagine how complex that's gonna be when your designs start to get really full on, like the next example. So let's just close this window. And with this Desm Plus example, it's easy to see what I'm trying to do, right? I'm mixing Netflix and Disney Plus to create Desm Plus, which is the name of my design system. And I'll give you a link to that in the description of this video as well. At the top, I've got the status bar, a nav bar, a section featuring my favorite TV show of all time, Dark, recommended section with Expanse, True Detective, and Better Call Saul, a trending section with Bill and Ted Face the Music, Black Widow and Ghostbusters, Hopefully we're gonna be able to go to the movies again soon, which would be amazing to see all of those. And we finish up with the tab bar at the bottom. Now if we skip right over to the third artboard, which is the detail screen, if I hover, you can see that the elements that are on the first artboard also have to be on the third artboard. All I've done between them is change their opacity and position. And if we take a deeper look at what that means, I've got two status bars, one's white and one's black, transitioning from that one to this one. I've got two nav bars transitioning from the way that this one looks to this one. And I've got two content sections. If I open this one, this is featured, recommended and trending. This one is controls, details and tabs, which is the same as this. There it is, controls, details and tabs. But if I dig into that expanse card on the first screen, you can see that it's in cards and it's number one, and it's got an image and a mask. That is the same element as this. It's in cards, it's number one, it's got an image and a mask. 
All I've done is scaled the image and the mask to get from here to here. So as we transition between those two screens, that card is going to animate up to the top and then animate back down. The transition I want from artboard number one to number two is just sliding the recommended section over, like you're sliding it left and then right, just exploring what I've got there. So let's go to the recommended section, select cards, which is this whole section here, go and add a link, point it to the next artboard, select auto animate, and change this to 0.5. We're going to go to the recommended section again on Artboard 2, select Cards again, and then we're going to tell it to go backwards. Change it to the first Artboard, select Auto Animate, change this to 0.5. Now I'm going to select the Expands card, which is number 1, add a link, go to the third Artboard, change it to auto animate and 0.5. And lastly, I'm gonna select the nav bar at the top here. Even though nav bar one is set to opacity zero, I'm still gonna select it because it's over the top of nav bar two. So that's something you have to look out for as well. There's a layer that's over another layer and making it unclickable. So let's select nav bar one, create a link that goes back to the first artboard, select auto animate and 0.5 again. With that done, I'm just going to save and preview in browser. And here we go. If we hover over the card section and click it, it's going to slide left. Click it again, it's going to slide right. Now, it'd be great if they update this so it can pick up a swipe left or a swipe right. But for now, this is pretty good. And next, let's select the expanse card. Okay, everything animates up like it should. And back down again, revealing the content and then going back to the home screen. Okay, let's close this. And I'm just gonna select the expands card again and change this to bounce. See what that does. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> okay, what else have we got? Wind up, what's that? Okay. So that kind of pulled back and then went up like that. That's not bad. But I'm gonna change it back to ease in and ease out. So we get that nice smooth motion between the two. There we go. All right, and that's it for this one. We've looked at the basic concept of what auto animate is. We've seen it work in a basic example and then this Disney Plus example. I had a lot of fun playing around with this, so thanks Anima. Okay, that's it. I hope you're looking after each other, looking after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.